Hi there, this is Dominic Dejean Craig, and for today's video, we are going to talk about black Trump supporters being murdered, being assaulted, and this being underreported in the media. We are also going to talk about the black militia that marched on Louisville Saturday. Now, let's kick it off. We're going to start with the militia. The black militia group, they are known as the NFAC, which we've already discussed in other videos. The NFAC stands for the, the Not Fucking Around Coalition. So, the NFAC shows up in Louisville. The cops are on high alert. They were protesting another protest. It was like a counter protest. So the cops, cops are on full alert. Um, all these armed brothers show up decked out in black. And unfortunately, one of the members of the armed militia group accidentally shot three others of the, the group. They were taken to the hospital for non-life threatening injuries. No charges were filed. No arrests were made. Now, the one thing I have to say about this group is that the man who is running this group, Grandmaster Jay, used to be a member, used to be a member of Black Lives Matter, ran for president, Grandmaster Jay. So that's what's up with the NFAC. So now we're going to move on. And we're going to talk about a man by the name of Drew Duncombe. And he lived, he lives in Portland, Oregon. He is a black Trump supporter and an anti-Antifa activist. A truth teller about Antifa. Well, he was walking around downtown Portland. He was stalked by an Antifa member. Then he was stabbed. So that was one guy. Then in Milwaukee, there was an older gentleman. He was in his 60s. He was actually 60 years old. And his name was Bernell Trammell. And he was a Trump supporter. And in broad daylight, somebody came and murdered him execution style. So I don't know what's going on. Um, maybe black. Trump supporters are too great of a threat to the narrative of Black Lives Matter and Antifa and the Democratic Party. Maybe we are too great a threat. Maybe they cannot silence us with ideas. So um, maybe they're going to start coming after us. So that's what's going on. That's the latest from the Democrats. That's the latest. Where is Black Lives Matter for Bernal Tramel? Where were they? Are they out there marching for Bernal? This is what the Democrats want. They want the country on fire every night. They want you to go to sleep and wake up to a country that burned overnight. This is, my goodness. Well, Portland, Seattle, Milwaukee. Uh, Atlanta, New York, Philly, um, you know, I'm sure I left a few places out. That was not a complete list, but I, I know this. We need some help, Mr. President. Mr. President, we don't want to defund the police. Mr. President, you could hire the police. You could take some of that money that the Democrats want and do a direct stimulus to the police department for the purpose of hiring more officers. And you could do something from, from the federal position, an executive order that the police have to be able to use non-lethal ammunition. They have to, they have to be able to have stuff like pepper spray, tear gas, rubber bullets, and so on and so forth. Because otherwise, how can they control a crowd? And the Democrats who took these vital tools away from our 
our last line of defense, man, because after the cop, it's you and Antifa. Okay. Without that cop, you know, you're going to have to blast. Um, so anyway, anyway, this is what's going on. We don't want to defund the police, Mr. President. We want you to come down on Antifa and Black Lives Matter with the entire weight of the law, with the entire weight of the federal government. Mr. President, I would like it if you would freeze their assets and then seize their assets and use that money to pay for the damage that these people have been doing. And, Mr. President, I would like it very much, Mr. Trump, if you would arrest these mayors. Because what they're doing is treason. It's treason. You're going to let your city burn. You're going to side with Antifa, a terrorist organization. Did you see that mayor of Portland going out there telling the rioters, the criminals, that he stood with them no matter what? And he said this on television? The mayor? This man is also the chief of police so um it's going to take some intervention we're definitely definitely going to need some federal intervention because the democrats they have become the enemy they have become traitors they are openly committing fashionable treason and that that is our video i'd like to thank you for watching